Hi, welcome back to the Power BI Custom Visuals course, and in this module we'll be looking at the TreeViz. Now the TreeViz is really very different than any other visual that we've looked, out, looked at thus far, in that it really displays kind of this breakdown tree that allows you to expand and, or collapse to show more or fewer levels within a hierarchical view of your data. It displays in addition to your categorical data that you're seeing here in the screenshot on the right hand side, you can also show, show measure data. And so it'll show two data bars in the middle of this tree viz. Uh, you can see, for example, where it says AAA in the bottom left, you're seeing two different data bars there, one that's showing a count of all the values. And then the second one, the bottom one, is actually traditionally going to show the, a measure that you might bring into the visualization. So if you have some kind of measure that you want to see on top of the categorical data, then the data bar will appear by default. You can actually turn that off if you'd like to, but that's how it appears by default. Now this visual might look kind of familiar to some folks if you've uh, used to maybe using ProClarity or Performance Point in the past as a kind of like a decomposition tree that allows you to drill deeper and deeper into your data. This is a visual that's going to be kind of similar to that and you might have some, some fair memories of the past where you had some visuals that allowed you to drill into a tree view like this and you're getting that again here with the tree viz. So, you can see here who this one is published by. Let's go ahead and walk you through how you can build out and use the tree viz on your own. All right, so first things first, we're going to be pulling in some data that's going to be showing a hierarchical view of our data. We can find that by going up to the Get Data section up in the top here and selecting Excel. We'll then choose the Sales by Product Hierarchy workbook that I've made available to you as well as uh, available for this demo. And I'll hit open to make that part of my solution. And it, before I can do that, really, of course, it's going to pop open this navigator pane where I can select the spreadsheet or the, 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 the sheet inside of the workbook that we want to use. In this case, it's going to be one here called product sales. And if I select that, I can see all the views of my data where you can see here, for example, I have the category, the subcategory, the product, and then how much we made on each product. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and load this into our data model. No need to edit. We're going to go straight to our data model with this and load this into our Power BI data model. And once it's loaded, you can see it appear on the field list on the right hand side. All right, so our next step is to go ahead and import the visual that we want to use for this example. And so we'll do that by going up to the from store option here. If we had it downloaded the file separately, we could actually import the file. But in this case, we're going to import from the store. So I'll select from store here and we'll choose and I'm going to search here. I'm going to type in tree to see what kind of visuals it'll return back here for me. And there are quite a few that use the word tree in them. We're going to use the one here called tree viz, the second one on the list, and then select add. We've now added the tree viz into our design, and you can see it in our visualizations pane here on the right hand side. I'm going to go ahead and select that to bring that into our design pane here with the report view. And I'll make this a little large, quite a bit larger actually. And the things I want to put into this, you'll see there's two different types of data points or two different types of fields that you can bring into. You have category data and measure data. So for example, category data is going to be like my category. Go figure. Uh, my subcategory. And actually, let's say my subcategory is right here. Let's select that, right? And then my product. And so you can see as I select items, it actually is impacting the way that the chart views or the, the visual looks. But it's going to impact it even more whenever I select the measure. And if I bring the sales into the measure data, notice the data bars, the green bar going through the middle. As soon as I drop this in here, you'll notice it changes those quite a bit. The reason it does that is because now it's displaying the value, not, not, not a count of the number of values I have but instead it's displaying a, a number, a measure value, in this case, sales. Now, as you interact with this, it's pretty simple to do. You can expand things. So I can expand clothing. You'll see this little down arrow that appears. If you want to expand a particular category, you can hit the down button. That'll take you down to the lower level, the, chil the children level or the child level of that, that, that attribute. And as you kind of go through, you can drill in even more. So I can see it looks like there's socks. I can drill into socks, and I can see there's two different types of socks that I'm selling. You'll also see there's nice little tool tips when you hover above a value here or you hover above an attribute, you can see it returns back a nice tool tip displaying the number of re records within that and then the number of sales as well, okay? So it's a pretty nice way to be able to visualize and drill deeper and deeper into your results. So you have a tool tip, you also have the ability to drill back up. So if you hit the up arrow, that'll take you back up the level, back from where you came, or you can drill down, or you can collapse vertically here as well. I should say horizontally here as well. So you'll see there's an arrow that points to the left. If I select that arrow that points to the left, that's going to collapse to only show the first two attributes and then have plus four where I can actually hit the right arrow and expand out and see the other four that I'm missing. So if I were to do that, I can hit the little expand button. You can see it expands back out to where it was. You can expand multiple levels at the same time if you wanted to. 
Okay, so I can expand accessories and clothing and see both of them at the same time. Let me uh, actually collapse clothing for a moment. Like so. And you can see here that by default, it's only showing the first five attributes, but it has the ability to expand beyond that five to see the other three by hitting the right arrow here to see the rest. Okay, so you can see accessories can be expanded to display all eight of the attributes below all the children attributes. And of course, you can go down a level and you can see all the values below that as well. All right, interesting. So what I want to show you next here is how you can actually control the number of values that are displayed with this expand and collapsing feature. So let's go back to clothing here for a moment. And we'll see by default, clothing shows us the six values that we have here. All of them are being displayed uh, right off the bat. If we wanted to, though, we can control how many are displayed uh, whenever we look at this. And that can be done underneath the format paintbrush section. So if we go over to the format paintbrush section, you'll see there's a section here called tree view settings. And if you expand that, you can see there's really two settings that you can do to tweak this. One is you can turn off the measures. If you don't want to see those measures that you see right here, you can turn them off by hitting the off button. And then it kind of resets and you're only seeing the names of the values and no measures, no data bars in this case. Okay, so you, you can still use a tooltip and see those values. But that gives you the ability to kind of turn that off. If you want to simplify this and declutter it a little bit, you may want to turn off the measures and then just use the tooltips to be able to see what the values are. Let's go ahead and turn that back on for our example. Uh, the other thing you can see is the number of children is something that you can control. Now, the number of children, the children limit is set to five right now, uh, which means that you're only going to see five values below any attribute. Now, you're seeing six here, but that's because uh, what you would normally see instead of this is this last one would actually expand, but it would only expand one. So it's actually showing six here. But keep in mind here, as I can change the value of the children limit, if I hit four on this, and expand it, you'll see that now it expands till so it allows me to expand to see two additional values. So I'm only seeing four values here, but I can expand it to see the last two. So the reason why, again, that didn't work the way it did whenever I had it set to five is because it would be adding another element here to only expand one anyways. So if it's, only, if it's gonna have an element here to only expand to one, then it's gonna go ahead and display that one value, which in this case is socks. Hopefully that makes sense. The re idea here again, it's limited to five, but again, if we were going to add another expand, it would just be expanding to one anyway, so it goes ahead and, and shows that one value here. But you can control this, so you can say, oh, I wanna only show three values. So then you can expand, you can see I'm only seeing three children, but I can expand beyond to see all six of them. So it's a really interesting set of uh, a visual here that you, of course you can drill in deeper and deeper if you wanted to, and you can go and you can expand both uh, vertically and horizontally. So if I wanted, wanted to go over to bikes, you can see there's a ton of bikes that I can take a look at here. Several different subcategories of bikes that I can drill into. And uh, it's a really nice visual. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And uh, that's really it for this one, though. And I look forward to showing you our next visual in our next module.